Uh, there's that saying, a stitch in time saves nine. It couldn't be more true for a Boise nonprofit organization, as Michelle Edmonds shows us, helping refugees is creating a stronger community for all of us, and that is Positively Idaho. The sound coming from the Artisans for Hope workroom is unmistakable. Women of all ages, from different backgrounds, even countries, connecting. That is the stitch that we use most of the time. Learning. Okay, I'm going to pull this machine around here so you can all see. This one you adjust by turning. Creating. Yes, now, now you got it. Yeah, did you do reverse? Founded five years ago, this nonprofit has tailored its mission to empower refugees. It's such an asset to this community to have people coming from all over the world with these rich life experiences and the opportunity to, for us to really learn and connect with people in a whole different way that's unique to the city. You can see each woman's journey stitched on these walls, story quilts patched together displaying both heartbreak and hope. All of a sudden, an image that is really visually interesting and creative takes on a whole new form when you understand the full depth of what's being depicted. This is my country. As a teenager, Bima Bandari escaped violence in Bhutan. Her quilt depicts the 18 years she spent in a refugee camp in Nepal before arriving in Boise with her family in 2008. We live without citizenship 25, 26 years, and we got citizenship in the United States. We are very proud. Can you tell me about your quilt? Uh, this one in uh, culture, Uganda. This one, three, 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 three like avocado. Kumar Musa landed in Boise from Somalia two years ago. She's learning an employable skill and English here at Artisans for Hope, all through volunteers. Yes, sir. You just work. my teacher is my teacher. <laughs> I'm lucky. Okay. Fastening friendships. And we work together in here, helping each other, sharing each other's ideas. Good morning, Story. Mending hurts. Nice to see you. A group where our community is knit even more closely together. We're going to do the fancy stitches next week. Michelle Edmonds, Idaho on your side. Here's just one example of the artisans' work, a notebook cover. The women have sold about $45,000 worth of goods, and now with a grant from the Idaho Women's Charitable Foundation, Artisans for Hope was able to purchase brand new sewing machines to train even more refugees.